This is the guy to George Outdoors. Three o'clock in the morning here down in Soldotna, Alaska, and we are about to head to the Kasseloff or Kasseloff River to do some salmon fishing this morning. Um, this is about as dark as it ever gets, and it's not real dark, so sleeping's been a little uh, a little messed up, but uh, we're up this morning um, getting some breakfast. We're about to make about a 30 minute drive to, uh, to this particular river where we're gonna be doing some fishing, and uh, we got some high expectations. They told us to pack for uh, rain just in case it rains, but we are ready. Got our lunches packed and we're hoping for a good day of fishing. And this is part two of our Alaskan series. So if you haven't went and watched part one, go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button because we're going to be giving details on how to plan a good Alaskan trip, the cost, the things that we would do, the things that we wouldn't do. But in the meantime, we're about to uh, put this camera down, hop in the truck, and drive over to the river and do some fishing. It's 3.30 in the morning and there's, I thought we were going to beat the crowd. But yeah, I figured it would be a ghost town, man. It's like trying to find a parking spot at the mall. People live for this stuff apparently. 3.30 in the morning, this place is already packed. We're gonna catch some fish though. Ready to roll. Right, so if I don't make it out. Uh, we, we use salmon eggs, so salmon roe, and then we'll, uh, we'll run some uh, plugs. Quick fish is the, the style of plug. And, we put uh, like a sardine wrap underneath and you just lash it to the belly of the plug with like a stretchy thread. So we're just kind of letting them out one by one as we get started, but we will be, uh, when I roll into a new spot, we'll all be putting them out together. 47 on the carry right there. <laughs> I got it. It's like the price is right, you know. A dollar over, you done. Yeah. No, I just uh, these numbers, they get the gear away from the boat far enough that I, I feel like, uh, you know, we can kind of sneak up on them. But. Do we need to net him or you stay and keep us in place? Wow. Wow. He's putting on a show for us. Yeah, Come on. Kings don't usually jump like that. <sighs> yeah, we foul <laughs> Well, honestly, I'm just nervous as I'll get it. He's gonna come off. You ain't got him in the boat yet. Yeah, I mean, it only took you two days to get here for this moment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but, but he's living it out. Man. He is yeah, living it up. He is. He's not on the pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look right there. He is not on the babies. <laughs> That's a beauty. Oh, and the hook popped out. Right now we got, huh? <laughs> wow. This is actually uh, the largest one anybody's landed so far for the season. Got some close, but this is a stud. This is a really nice first run fish. Quick euthanasia. Yep. <laughs> that, that's uh, about as rowdy as it gets. That was incredible. That's a big old fish. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I, bet, I bet this fish is close to 20. Underneath, uh, yeah, he's uh, about just a twenty, like right, right on the dot, twenty. I don't mind rounding.
was awesome. First king salmon ever. Um, nervous, not sure what to do. I, every, I felt like every decision I was making was the wrong one, but Nolan got us taken care of. We got him in. Awesome experience. That was incredible. So right out of the gate, we nailed this first king around 5 a.m. At this point, we're thinking, man, we're going to have a uh, smoking day. Um, little did we know it would be about eight hours later before we would hook up with our next kingfish. Oh, you just got. <laughs> Man, they're liking the plug in here. You got hammered it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. They're working back. What's your counter say? Uh, 157. Okay. Yep, start working back. Break him loose. No, you're not gonna you're not gonna break the line, it's just the you gotta sideways, sideways, sideways. Take him up. Lift. Yeah. <laughs> A hen. Alright. Tagged out. Sweet. Boy. Sweet. Alright. Alright. Everybody pull some line out here. I don't know what these other guys came to do, but I came to Alaska to catch fish. That's like a little guy leaving like a dolly or something. Yeah, I'm getting my hand on the I see it. Find that in my pocket right here, please. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. There you go. There you go. He's got it. What you got going on there? Yep, got yep. Sockeye. Uh, pick it. Uh, yep. Well, what we need to you guys, for you, get my, pick it up for him. You guys got to watch those other rods. We can keep them in. We just might have to move them. You guys keep those rods so you can put them back down. We're good now. Nice job. Oh, it's a steelhead. But we can't keep these. But that's a. That, remember we're talking about steelhead, sea yeah. rainbow trout. That's what that is. Okay. So no, that we just have to. We have to let them go. Okay. But you got to see a steelhead. Just, just keep them off the boat. Yeah. So this is a rebrided steelhead. It's starting to get silver, but it's kind of like a rainbow trout. It's really thin because she spawned already. All right. Good job, dude. Okay. Huh? Got something? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. See. I ain't the mud sucker. <laughs> It's good to know that all the way here in Alaska, they got rednecks too. You already check out this boat ramp. You literally just hook it up to a cable and pull it out on the mud.
twice the product. So these are the these are the gonads. It's like a nut. It's not a slab of meat way, I guess. Uh, you figure 20 pounds of fish. Oh, we got 10 pounds of meat here. Easily. We get about 50% plus on the yield. I usually I'd say it's probably closer to 55 or 60 on salmon. At least the like my fillet style. Now the fish processor, I'll drop it off there. Yep. Store it. What actually would they do? Do they do anything else other than get it shipping ready? They'll, like, uh, they'll they? yeah, well, they vacuum seal it and freeze it. Okay. And then they'll hold it for you. And you can either overnight it, which I don't really recommend, or you can check check your fish as a check bag. Yeah. In a, they have a cooler box. Mm -hmm. and that's the best way to get it home. It'll be frozen at negative 40, so when they fill up that cooler box, I mean, it, it'll stay frozen for 24 hours easily. Like it'll be rock solid when it gets when you get home. Mm -hmm. young lady here is going to process the fish for us. She's going to cut us a little bit so we can take it back to the room to eat tonight, but she's going to get the rest of it processed up so that we can ship it back on the plane when we go Sunday. It's going to be vacuum sealed and frozen really good. Ready to go back to Georgia? Ready to go back to Georgia. I take it back to Tennessee with me every year. All right, we are back at the cabin. This is actually the next day after that king fishing trip and uh, we got the fillets cleaned out and we're back here grilling them. We've actually got a uh, sockeye from today's fishing trip, which you'll see in a later video. And we're gonna do a uh, taste comparison between king salmon and the uh, sockeye. Very simple preparation, salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, Tony Sacheries on the grill. And we're gonna see how, uh, how that turns out. But it was a great day of fishing, kind of slow, kind of cold. Um, Watch you come here to Alaska to fish for, but uh, we're gonna do the uh, few minutes, do the official Gata George Outdoors taste test. I had to get it off quick, but <laughs> puffy's hot. It's cooked. There we go. Ready to eat. Ready to go. Oh boy, that looks. Here we go. That is, oh my goodness, that is some of the finest I have ever had. Come on for a second bite here. That is, that is so good. I'm going for one more bite. It's got a lot of fat. I'm not used to eating fish with that much fat in it, but it has. Man. All right, we're about to try the sockeye salmon. We're gonna see how this turns out. Great looking piece of fish. Not a thing in the world wrong with that either. That is some of the best fish. That I've ever eaten. A really good salt water taste. Yes. That is, that beats any salmon that you could buy at the grocery store right there. Fresh out of the. It taste like oh my goodness, that is so good. That king salmon was amazing. It was uh, some of the best tasting salmon, but just traced with some good fat in there. Amazing. The, uh, the sockeye salmon, nothing wrong with that at all, but I have to give the slight edge the king salmon so uh hope you enjoy this video i can't even explain how much fun it was to make it something we've been looking forward to and waiting for many years to do so i hope you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button go check out our previous video and the upcoming videos uh, but until the next one this has been the uh, alaska edition of got a georgia outdoors mm -hmm.